People across the world are learning about Mexico's new president, Claudia Sheinbaum. She won in a landslide victory to become the first woman elected to ever lead that country. Now, Sheinbaum is an accomplished physicist and a longtime leftist activist. Now the next question is how she will lead at a time when U.S.-Mexico relations are increasing in importance. Our Monica Madden reports on how her presidency could impact Texas. Fanfare in Mexico as the country celebrates its first female president. Because she's the president that Mexico needs to move forward. Populist Claudia Scheinbaum declaring victory Sunday night. We will maintain a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. In Texas, some business and border leaders optimistic about the new leadership. In order for us to be successful when it comes to trade, when it comes to economic development, we need to have those strong relationships with Mexico. Texas business leaders like Glenn Hammer expect Scheinbaum, an energy engineer, to be pragmatic and a strong partner. As a state that is going uh, aggressively into areas like hydrogen and carbon capture, uh, I'm very optimistic that we're going to be able to do uh, some very important things with Dr. Scheinbaum. As a top trading partner for the U.S. and Texas, her leadership style is sure to influence U.S. politics, coming at a time when trade, immigration, and drug trafficking rank high in American policy issues. And I'm optimistic we're going to continue to see uh, increased trade as we deal with uh, very difficult and very real issues uh, concerning migration, as well as illicit drugs uh, that are, are harming both nations. Hammer is hopeful Scheinbaum will want to build on existing trade agreements with $285 billion in trade between Texas and Mexico alone. We're going to do everything we possibly can to see that number increase. Monica Madden, KXAN News. And now going in depth, Shane Baum has said that she will follow in the footsteps of her predecessor, President Lopez Obrador, with the hugs, not bullets policy, something she praised during her campaign. It's a policy focused on avoiding confrontation with drug cartels, instead focusing on fighting poverty with social programs. So there's less of an incentive for young people to join or cooperate with cartels in order to survive. Now, Shane Baum will not officially take office until December 1st, and her term will run until 2030.